And joining us on the show right now is a former resident of Kosciuszko. You might not know that, but he is. It's Todd Tillman uh, from The Voice. He's in the finale uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Todd, thanks for being on with us. Oh, man, it is my pleasure. Thank you. So, first things first, what's it like for Mississippi Boy to be in the finale of The Voice? <laughs> I, you know, it's insane. I still, I don't even think I've wrapped my mind around having a blind audition, much less making it to the finale. So, <laughs> it's unreal, completely unreal. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of been a little bit different now with the coronavirus going on. So, how has that kind of uh, played into, you know, how y'all have done things? I mean, people have been watching it. I obviously know you're doing things from home, but how did that all come about? When did y'all find out y'all were doing the uh, show from home? Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say exactly when. It was, It was. you know, they plenty of time before we started, you know, filming and getting ready for the show. I would say maybe maybe two or three weeks before uh, we, we found out that plan. And, they man, they sent us a bunch of equipment. And, and also the people with the expertise didn't come to us, but we got to speak with them on video chatting. And so, uh, so they really did everything above and beyond to set us up. Yeah, so... Nobody from NBC or The Voice came. You, you you were setting that stuff up yourself, huh? Yeah, they yeah they me and me and my family. My oldest son Egan helped a lot. He's twenty, you know, so he's grown and kind of, and he's also got like a creative flair, and he likes all this kind of techno techno stuff and like uh, movie magic stuff, and so he helped a lot. And, and then the people from the show they get on they get on a video conference with you and tell you where to put things and how to work things, and they look at the frames and the videos and stuff before you shoot. They take you step by step. We're speaking with Todd Tillman uh, from The Voice. He's in the finale tonight on NBC. And uh, so, has, has it been more difficult? Because you, you have a lot of energy. I mean, you, you seem to feed <laughs> you seem to feed off the crowd a lot in all your performances. Yeah. So, how how much of a change was it there? You know, going uh, to your home. You know, that was I would say, and I think all of us say the same thing. That number one with the bullet. That's the toughest part about it is not being able to feed from the energy of the crowd. And even if there's not a crowd, if I'm feeling the song, I like boo. But you know, I've had a couple of different locations, and legit, man, both of my locations are on, like, plywood floor. And so if I move, all of the equipment shakes. <laughs> so, like, I couldn't really do too much moving without knocking the camera over. Yeah. I think that last shot from, from last week where, where you had your whole family in there and your, your youngest one was over there taking a nap while, uh, while yeah. you were sleeping, I think that one um, yeah, called America's heart right there. Oh, man, that, to me, uh, watching that back, uh, I, I think that might be the highlight of my time on The Voice so far, seeing that back. Uh, I think it just gave me, like, um, the whole flood of emotion because of our whole life, you know? We've been married 21 years, which means sometimes are great, and sometimes you're just, you know, going through it. And um, and so, seeing all that, and then not only that, but my family's been on this roller coaster ride of The Voice. Like, you know, when you're on The Voice, every, every week or every so often it's like this could be it the coach could say he picked somebody else or america could kick you off and send you home you know yeah and uh, so uh quickly we'll talk about you know your time here in kosciuszko we only recently learned i did that you were from kosciuszko because everybody you're from mississippi so you're one of us anyway so we've all been rooting for you but i've been seeing all my yeah. friends on facebook say hey buddy congratulations so they're calling you buddy is like they, they might know you from when you lived here so well, what was it like uh, when you lived here in kosciuszko and what do you remember about it oh my gosh you know i was um when we left there i was like 14 and so what i personally have you know how it is all this nostalgia <laughs> what i personally have is a lot of really fond memories of camping out in pastures and and uh and at that time it wasn't against the law for them to have those little fake phony cigarettes for kids to walk around smoking at the natchez trace festival you know um and those kinds of things, man, roaming and romping out in the woods and riding bicycles and swimming in ponds. And that's really kind of what I remember uh, from Kosciuszko. Yeah, not, not much has changed in uh, in uh, 20 years or so, however long it's been since you uh, yeah. moved yeah, away. Almost 30. 30 now. Okay, yeah. But uh, uh, I had a one question for you. Out of all the songs that you've sang on the show, uh, what, uh, what's, mm -hmm. been, what's been your favorite? Oh, you know, that's tough. Right now, just because, like, watching it back and seeing how things are played out, I, it's kind of a tie between Indy Moore and If You Get There Before I Do. Uh, just because I love 90s country music. I love, love, love it. I've been in love with it my whole life since the 90s, you know? <laughs> and uh, and then also, like, the if the Colin Ray song, just watching that back, it, like I said, it just it, it really just flooded me with memories of our whole life. And so it really just brought back a lot of stuff. And you know how that is. It's what music is supposed to do, man. It's sort of in a good way, not a bad way. It just sort of, like, broke me. And so that it moved 
moved me, and so I loved it. I just uh, one more question before we let you go. Yeah. What, what can we expect out of the finale uh, tonight and tomorrow night? Oh man! Well, first of all, you can expect a really, really phenomenal finale. Uh, I know for for myself, you know, we're not really able to say what we're going to sing and stuff, but I can say I uh, I feel like I'm kind of doing a little bit of a return to my roots, and so I'm excited about that. I'm I'm excited about the connection that the people uh, will have with the song that I'm singing, but not just me. Uh, uh, all of the other people, you know, that are part of this, they're they're really very diligently working and digging really deep to sing songs that connect and then you know there's going to be like a star-studded audience i mean a star-studded cast of people singing and bringing numbers for uh for everybody to watch basically from home so it should be really exciting and really interesting and then of course tuesday night though there'll, there'll be a whole other lineup and then you find out we find out tuesday night who's the voice this season that's todd tillman from nbc's the voice you can catch him tonight on The Voice, make sure you have your phone ready to vote because, you know, he's, he's one of us. He's a Mississippi boy and right here in Kosciuszko from back in the day. So, Todd, I can tell you, everybody's going to be rooting. Everybody's going to be watching. And, uh, hey, we uh, good luck tonight and tomorrow. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for your time.